What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? So guys, welcome back, and happy Saturday. So today, today we're up here kind of close by Markarth, taking a look at this Eagle View. Now, Eagle View is amongst some of the homes that Lian G has done, the wonderful Lian G has done for Skyrim. Those houses include... Valley View, as well as Water View, and now Eagle View, which is very cool to see. Now, the home itself is situated right up here, right across from Old Hraldon. Now, we're right here at Eagle View with Reachcliff Cave, Douche, that thing, uh, Valthum, and uh, that also as well. But we're closest to Markarth. Markarth being the closest hold that you're probably going to want to find. You know, Morthal is a little far out there, and truthfully, Whiterun is super far down that way. So I'd say Markarth is your best bet, but... This home is found uh, up here, uh, and you can actually fast travel to it immediately once it's installed in your game. Now, the first thing that I notice is it's basically the um, the Hearthfire homes, like the Lakeview Manors and um, all that stuff, but it's perched up on this hill. And I gotta say, the view is worth a million freaking bucks, but you don't have to pay a damn thing to get this house. Look at this view, look at that. You got a view of Old Heraldon over there, and then right beneath it you got the road, as well as the big two waterfalls with the neat little lake down there, or the, the river, uh, I should say. Now what's nice about the homes that Lee NG has done is she's been able to incorporate the stuff from the water view version of the mod from the Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod, which means you can harvest the blueberries, you can harvest coffee, there's all sorts of different and various materials like Dominica Redwort and uh, all sorts of that stuff that you can um, that you can harvest as well as you know grow inside of the actual house now up here on the front door we're gonna go and come up here because there's a hastily scribbled note that you can read for yourself if you want a little bit of the lore but it comes with a little steel dagger now the key is right there now you have to make sure that you are looking directly at the key and if you have problems it could be glitched into the wall behind it that happened to me a little bit when I was trying to actually get the key but once you collect that, that's the Eagle View house key, and that's all you need to do to get inside the house. But I wanted to point this out to anybody who's wanting to fill their home with all the goodies that they want. If you come along the left side of the house, and you come to this little outcropping, there's a chest right here. And it's a dug-up chest, hidden treasure chest. If you take a look inside, it comes with everything you could possibly want. <laughs> <laughs> comes with all the freaking, you know, dragon claws, all the dragon priest masks, all the Daedric artifacts, the paragons, everything like that, guys. There's so much in here, as well as the ingredients from the water view um, in uh, Bruma, which is really, really cool. Now, now that the outside of the house has been seen, we can actually go ahead and take a look at the inside. But before we go inside, I did want to point out the fact that there is a massive growing area over here on this big cliff. If you'll notice, all these grow beds out here, nice, nice area to do this at. It's kind of nice that it's on the cliff too, although be careful when you come to harvest the stuff out here because you don't want to fall off. That's a nasty fall. But let's head inside, shall we? And here we are inside of Eagle View. Now look at that. I love this little... Oh, that's so pretty. You can just walk across the water right there. That's so pretty. Look, it's got a bird in there, too. Oh, it's an eagle. <gasps> eagle view. <laughs> that makes sense. Now, if you're wondering why why my insects are different colored, that's the TLS Insect Topia. Or actually, no, it's the Prismatic Insects of Skyrim uh, mod running in, in tandem with the TLS Insect Topia mod. So if you want your bugs to be that color, definitely consider downloading that mod. But I love the entrance way. I love this, you know, this entryway. Super beautiful with all the nice custom plants and stuff. We got the, what is it, Alkanet, you got uh, Karen Bullet, all that stuff, tea, milk thistle, very, very cool. Kind of cool to see, look, pears, you can harvest these damn pears off the tree. But let's see what the actual home looks like. Hello, what do we got? Follower bedroom greenhouse default, children's bedroom trophy room default, so you can swap these, I guess. <gasps> That's kind of cool. So we'll swap that back to there, and then we'll just do that. Okay, so we can probably come back here and check this out, look at this. So it is indeed keeping the same Hearthfire style of the home, and I kind of like that. I love the bugs inside of the house. I'm not a fan of bugs normally when they're inside of my house, especially in real life, but I gotta say, it's kind of nice having the different colored butterflies, torch bugs, and dragonflies just all floating around. Kind of cool to see. 
Now, in typical Lian Ji kind of water view fashion, we have our spinning wheel over here, which is used to make various cloths. As you can see, you can make your blankets, you can make your washcloths, and all sorts of that cool custom stuff that this mod has to offer. Very cool custom weapon plaques with a, a safe storage right here. Always nice to have safe storage everywhere. A wool barrel with a fine hat and some gloves. Very cool. Now, we won't get too, too far into the finer details, but then again, who am I to say that we won't? Because in typical Riantium showcase fashion, I tend to take a look at everything. But we have our blessing thing right here. We can do Kinnereth. That's cool. It's a blessing basin. That's kind of nice to have. So it, you don't need to have room for all the different shrines. That's kind of unique. I've never seen that before. Big dinner table right here set with what looks like some cheese wedges, maybe some apples and leeks. Love the little seating area right here with the big fireplace. Very, very cool. And I love the lighting in here. It's surprisingly bright. Now, that could also be my brightness. No, it's not. It's not my brightness. So that's kind of cool. It's refreshing to see it a little bit brighter. Now, both of these doors lead to two different sections. But like I said, there are ways to kind of, you know, change some of the stuff that's in here. In fact, this is the greenhouse, which means this could also be the follower's bedroom if you didn't want the greenhouse, which is kind of cool. Now, inside of here, I'd assume that this is the master bedroom with a master bathroom right here as well with a shower look at that that is cool i love that so freaking much you know how much of a sucker i am for bathtubs and showers and stuff like that but i love this wardrobe right here got some armor outfits right there gauntlets gloves boots shoes helmets hats all sorts of that fun stuff go and turn that off that can get kind of loud and we have our temple priest robes very, very cool to have. Now, I love the giant bed right here. You know, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right for two people or one Master Dragonborn, you know? And I love the amulet storage over here, the jewelry display. I love when mod authors actually put the things in there so that you don't actually have to display the stuff that you have. So that, you know, it can act as a storage box, but you can also display some of the stuff that's there as, you know, sort of a static decor. Kind of cool. Pretty cool jeweled goblet right there with another custom weapon plaque. And a few of the books right there for the Bookworms of Skyrim. Now this is an actual wardrobe, just to uh, to appease and please the people who think it's not. But this goes out to... Oh, it goes into a toilet, okay. <laughs> it goes into a toilet and you can change your appearance right there. You have washcloths, you got soap, all sorts of that good stuff. Because that's another thing that you can make in this mod, is soap. Interesting, I don't know why you'd want to make soap, but that's okay for those of you that like to get immersed in your Skyrim roleplay. Now, the, gr the greenhouse in here looks very, very cool. It comes with big grow beds as well as a an apiary for your, your honey and honeybee needs. Now, I want to see if this is the room that changes. Uh, okay, so that's the greenhouse. Yep, now it's the follower's bedroom. Look at that. And we caught it in mid-change. <gasps> That's so cool. Holy shit, that's cool. Okay, so this is the follower's bedroom now. And look at this vase. Oh my god, that's pretty. Okay, that's pretty nifty, okay? So we're going to go and leave that right there. But let's go and check out this door over here. I'd imagine this is the children's bedroom. No, this is the alchemy nook. Look at this. Oh, I love all the storage for all of your ingredients. Now, I will say... When it comes to this stuff, I would really love to have a cloud storage. That way I wouldn't have to always search every single one of them, unless you're one of the people that really knows what's in their house, you know? Like, you can just, with your eyes closed, reach back and find the giant's toes, or, you know, <laughs> the giant lichens and stuff like that. But, kind of cool nonetheless. Very, very cool, in fact. Alchemy sort chest. Oh, wait. Maybe there is an alchemy sort chest. Hanging moss. Maybe not. Unless it's now in the corresponding thingy. Which, the only way to see that would be to find the actual thing. <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You guys can figure that out on your own time. Let's see. Wait. Hanging moss. Hanging moss is right. Oh, wait. That was pfft, that was that hanging moss, you dummy. But that's okay. Very cool. I like the alchemy nook. Kind of cool to see. Got some fresh baked treats back here. <gasps> Look at those cookies. It looks like there's freaking, like, Fig Newtons there, too. That's really cool. So this is probably the big kitchen area. Yes, indeed, with our giant preparation table, where you can use the food prep table to make all sorts of stuff in here, guys. I love, I love all of that stuff. Make some green apple halves. Got some food storage over here for all sorts of meats and foodstuffs, various foodstuffs. Very cool to see. 
And I love this little coffee pot over here. You can make that, you can make coffee and you can use your, your coffee bag to store your coffee beans. That's what I love about these homes is they come with so many more features in, you know, just, uh, you know, without, what am I trying to say here? They come with so many features to add into the home. It's kind of cool. All right. Oh, hello. Hello there, gigantic dragon. How you doing, big guy? Good to see ya. So this looks like maybe a rec room slash drawing room slash seating area. Maybe a library. Oh, no, it's a display area. <gasps> okay. So we have the Paragon storage right there. Unique jar trophies. We have probably more unique jar trophies inside of here. It's probably Dragon Claw. Okay, so that's Dragon Claws and Mask Display. Thieves Guild Display. Very, very cool. And like I said, there's everything that you need to display inside of that uh, that sunken chest down below. Which is actually really kind of cool. Looks like more Daedric stuff up here. Very cool. Very cool. Now, let's go ahead and come around here and see what we have. We have an armor rack right here. As well as the bookshelf for the bookworms of Skyrim. Now, it said something about a children's bedroom and a trophy room, which I imagine would be this right here. So, this is the enchanting table, or the enchanting room with a staff enchanter, as well as your arcane enchanter. Either that... Or it's this door right here. Oh, this goes out to Skyrim. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, we found the crafting area. Look at this. Look at that smelter. Oh, that is badass. That is the most freaking unique smelter I've ever seen. So we have our workbench, our anvil, our smelter, as well as our ingot storage, our pelt storage, our grindstone, another big storage chest right over here. This looks like to be a soap pot with a gigantic view. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wood chopping block with some gleam blossoms. Nice big dinner table for those of you that want to eat outside. And then probably the coolest freaking hot tub I have ever freaking seen. Look at this. Oh, now this is living. This is living. I can get used to that. And I love this gigantic chiminea. Kind of cool. You normally see these on the inside of homes, but the outside, nice touch. Now let's see if we can find the children's bedroom. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and come up here into the tower just to see exactly what it looked like. And it's just a tower. Pretty much the same thing as the Hearthfire homes, which is kind of cool. Looks like there's a big bird, bird's nest right up there, which is kind of cool. But we need to find the children's bedroom, and we need to be able to turn it into the armory, because I want to see that. All right, so let's see. So we need to find the children's bedroom in order to see this. There's the Daedric Weapon trophies. This goes out to the back patio, as we just saw. Now let's see. Where, oh where, could that door be? We have the alchemy area up there, the enchanting area upstairs. I don't see any other doors. Are there any trap doors? Because that's normally what happens whenever I, uh, <laughs> whenever I do these showcases. Sometimes I miss the trap doors. Unless it's talking about this. Which I don't think it is, because that just goes into the bathroom. I don't think it's talking about this. Let's try it. Let's see what we got, because that should be the master bedroom, if anything. Let's see, we'll go ahead and come here. Children's bedroom and trophy room. Okay, so I kind of drew a blank right there. So it's not actually a doorway that is the children's bedroom. It's an open thing. So up here, where the trophy room was normally at is now the children's bedroom. So as you can see, the architecture of the house has actually changed up here now. So there's a big children's bedroom up here now, which is really, really cool to see. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six beds, it looks like. So you can have up to six kids living here, which is really, really cool. Now, I do believe that's everything that this home has to offer, guys. And I gotta say, in typical Riantium, you know, showcase fashion, and these beautiful homes that Lee and G has for us, they are amazing. And any of the homes that you could possibly want in these, you know, in these mods, um, I would go for them. But I meant to I meant to say this at the beginning of the uh, the showcase. For those of you wanting to use this house, you do actually need to have the water view file installed. Um, and it'll say that if you install it without it. It'll say you don't have the required thing. But one check into the actual mod description and it would have said that. But I just wanted to say that in the, in the mod showcase as a disclaimer. Just so that I can't be called out for that. <laughs> but guys, I very much hope you enjoyed today's mod showcase. And I will see you in the next video.